This is the Bell 430, the luxurious beast of the twin-engine corporate helicopter market. Introduced as an improved version of the Bell 230, the 430 was designed to fill a niche in the twin-engine, medium-lift category, specifically targeting roles in VIP and corporate transport. Developmental began in the early 1990s, and the aircraft was met with significant interest, particularly in roles that required a versatile, reliable, and relatively cost-effective helicopter. The medical evacuation configuration became popular for its ability to accommodate a full suite of life support equipment, while corporate and VIP transport operators appreciated the 430 for its comfortable and well-designed cabin, which could be easily customized to meet specific luxury requirements. Over the years, the 430 saw various upgrades, primarily in the avionics suite and interior design, and although the production was officially discontinued in 2010, the helicopter continues to have a strong presence in the used aircraft market. But can it still compete with modern VIP helicopters? Stay with us till the end of the video because here is everything you need to know about the Bell 430. Stepping inside, the first thing you notice is its efficient use of space. With an overall width of 5 feet or 1.53 meters and a height of 4.5 feet or 1.35 meters, the volume is 215 cubic feet or 6 cubic meters, as big as some light jets. The seating is modular, allowing you to customize the cabin layout depending on the mission at hand. Operated single pilot, the 430 offers seating for 9 passengers or seven in a plush executive configuration with all the amenities, including a refreshment center, air telephone, club seats, and individual passenger fresh air gaspers. The seating ergonomics are exceptional. The leather upholstery, which can be custom ordered to match a variety of interior aesthetics, is both supportive and comfortable. The seats are contoured to provide lumbar and thigh support aimed at reducing passenger fatigue during prolonged flights. However, they are not fully reclinable. The materials do not disappoint. High-quality wood veneers generally in walnut or cherry complement the plush leather seating, and you can often find tastefully executed gold or silver-plated fixtures, which give the interior a luxurious touch without appearing overly ostentatious. Seat pitch is comparable to, or even a few inches more than what you would find in jets, even in the relatively tighter three-row configuration, slightly less than 36 inches or 90 centimeters between each row. Six large cabin windows ensure a decent view for every passenger, thanks to their generous size and strategic positioning. The climate control system is worth highlighting. Designed to maintain an optimal temperature and humidity range within the cabin, the system uses advanced filtration methods to ensure air quality and proves to be highly effective in providing a stable and comfortable environment, regardless of the outside weather conditions, a quality especially appreciated during long-haul flights. One of the drawbacks of the cabin is the ambient noise levels. Though the aircraft is equipped with standard soundproofing, it may not be sufficient to dampen the engine and rotor noise completely, particularly during high-speed flights. Passengers looking for a quieter cabin experience often opt for additional noise-canceling headphones or an aftermarket noise cancellation system. The cabin offers well-placed LED lighting fixtures, providing ample illumination for both daytime and nighttime flights. The baggage compartment is somewhat lacking, and there is no way to make it larger. Though the 430 is not renowned for abundant storage space, it offers a modest baggage compartment located at the rear of the cabin, with approximately 37 cubic feet or 1,000 liters of space. Stepping inside the cockpit, it offers ample room for two pilots. The seats are adjustable, providing good lumbar support and ample cushioning for those longer flights, and pilots enjoy excellent visibility through a large and well-designed canopy. The control layout in the cockpit is intuitively designed. While it doesn't leverage a fully electronic interface like some newer models, the mixture of digital and analog instrumentation seems to work well for pilots who appreciate a more tactile experience. The collective, cyclic, and anti-torque pedals are well-placed and respond effectively, offering a level of control fidelity that experienced pilots will appreciate. The 430 typically comes equipped with a Honeywell avionics suite, which includes a four-axis autopilot system coupled with a Sperry Honeywell SPZ 7600 flight control system, which allows for altitude hold, heading hold, and navigation tracking, among other features. 
The PFD and MFD units are adequate, but not groundbreaking. They show essential flight parameters and navigational data, offering a degree of customization, but falling short of the fully integrated systems seen in modern aircraft. The 430 incorporates dual VHF radios and an option for HF radio, which ensures robust communication capabilities. The navigational system often includes a GPS and a traffic collision avoidance system, contributing to safer flight operations. Engine parameters are monitored through a FADEX system. While the FADEX does simplify engine management, it is a first-generation system and does not offer the extensive diagnostic capabilities of newer iterations. The helicopter also features dual hydraulic systems for redundancy, which offer a reliable fail-safe mechanism. One of the striking aspects of the cockpit is its ease of use. While it may lack the bells and whistles of a fully digital interface, the available systems are straightforward, making the learning curve relatively moderate. This is especially beneficial for operators who switch between different types of missions regularly and need a cockpit that is adaptable without requiring extensive retraining. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Bell 430 is powered by twin Rolls-Royce 250C-40B turboshaft engines with a TBO of 4,000 hours, each producing 783 shaft horsepower. The engines allow a maximum rate of climb per minute of 1,350 feet or 410 meters and a maximum cruising altitude of 14,600 feet or 4,500 meters, the aircraft has a maximum cruise speed of 140 knots, with an average hourly fuel burn of 100 gallons or 380 liters. Without the optional 48-gallon auxiliary fuel tank, a wheeled 430 is essentially a two-hour helicopter, with a maximum range of 325 nautical miles, which is 375 miles or 600 kilometers. The good news is that it can carry a lot no matter whether it's on skids or wheels. Useful load is about 3,900 pounds or 1,800 kilograms. And it can also carry sling loads of up to 3,500 pounds. The base purchase price for a new Bell 430 is $10 million before options, and the charter price is estimated at $3,000 to $5,000 per hour. Naturally, prices will vary depending on availability, fuel prices, ground fees, and more, while the annual fixed cost is roughly $350,000 to $500,000. The average hourly operating cost is estimated at $1,500 to $2,500. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.